So this is the vacuum tube amplifier project that I built for my senior project at Binghamton University. So this is the amplifier itself. We've got our knobs in the front, you know, for bass, middle, treble, that is, this is a gain knob, bass, middle, treble, volume. Um, and we're going to incorporate more switching for the amp, so this is going to be another volume knob for our switching scheme. This is our pilot light, our standby switch, and our power switch. And this is, of course, our input jack. This circuitry here um, was what we designed uh, to be specific for our type of um, vintage Vox and Fender um, dual um, gain amplifier. It's high gain. So this switch right here, this uh, potentiometer, is going to turn up our gain, which is going to be um, unique for our type of amplifier. But, um, that's our ground bus. We have our entire turret board here with our um, bypass capacitors, which hold a ton of charge. Um, so even when we turn the amplifier off, we want to make sure that they are all, um, you know, all our voltage is pushed out of those capacitors so we don't, God forbid, hurt ourselves. These are our tube sockets. So that's, those are our two 12AX7JJ um, valves um, that um, bias our amplifier a certain way so we have a certain distorted sound that we want. That's our power tube, amp our power tube socket, our EL84 tube. Um, that's our output jack, which goes to our speaker, our 4-ohm, 12-inch speaker. Uh, that's our impedance selector switch, which uh, has the ability to use a 4-ohm, 8-ohm, and 16-ohm speaker, respectively. That's our um, fuse holder, power cord connector. And the power cord connector is connected to a light bulb limiter, which we use to test the amplifier to make sure that everything is checked out correctly and we have no shorts. So what happens is, is we'll turn on this switch here. This is our power strip, which goes to the wall power outlet. And our kilowatt, which tells us exactly how much voltage we're taking in from the wall outlet. So we're getting 117 volts. That is then routed into our light bulb limiter. We turn the light bulb limiter on. Right now it's on, sorry. Right now it's off. On. So what that's telling us is there is voltage passing through the light bulb limiter. And there is a resistive load, in other words, a light bulb, which is connected to our um, current limiter, which routes current. And if the light bulb bright, uh, flashes bright, our amplifier is then protected from a possible short. If our light bulb flashes and then dims, we know that there are no shorts and we can carry on and test the amplifier. The reason we do this is because the amplifier is operating at an upwards of 500 volts, which you can imagine is incredibly dangerous and could possibly kill somebody. So we want to make sure that our amplifier it won't explode and or hurt us. So now what we want to do is power on the amplifier. So right now this is our on switch. Turn that on, the amplifier is on. This is our standby switch, so to make sure that everything is working correctly, we turn on our amp, our, we, we just make sure that everything's working correctly. We look at the light bulb. Okay, so if we want to turn on the standby switch, that is our last step in having the amplifier turn on. So if you pay attention, you'll see the light bulb kind of flash and then dim. So right now, the amplifier is slowly turning on. Our guitar signal has um, entered the amplifier and is now traveling through our um, preamp stages, which is our uh, circuitry, getting distorted, moving through, moving through, moving through passing through, and then going to our output speaker jack through the speaker. So right now, um, there should be a sound that passes through. So. so right now our gain is turned up at about four. So if we turn it up all the way, we can get a insanely crunchy sound because the um, capacitors are allowing more current voltage to pass through them, and we are getting the highest amount of distortion and gain that we could achieve. Now, if the bass is turned all the way high, we're going to get a very bassy sound. So here is with the bass all the way high and everything else turned lower, except for the volume knob and gain knob. That's just bass.
So now the bass will be turned all the way down. Our treble, our mid, mid is going to go all the way to the top now. That, I believe that is mid, yeah, that is the middle. Middle sound. That's middle. Turning the middle down. Treble all the way up. Trebles all the way up, treble all the way down, volume knob is turned all the way high, gain all the way to the top. Bass halfway, gain halfway, mid halfway, treble halfway, volume knob turned to the top. This is, this is the way I would play. So that is the vacuum tube amplifier project here at Binghamton. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Last but not least, I will show you the actual vacuum tubes. So these are the vacuum tubes that we're using. We're using two 12AX7s. I don't know if you can tell, but they're right now they are lit up. The EL84 is lit and the 12AX7s are lit as well. You can probably see the EL84 a little clearer, but yeah, that's the output transformer you can see in the middle there. Our cap can, which is just another one of those um, thick bypass capacitors and electrolytics. And that's our power transformer, which steps up our um, signal from about, you know, steps up almost to 450 volts. So, yep, that's the amplifier project. We'll turn it off for you. Standby off first to test. Power off, bypass off, it's on right now, bypass off, power off. Thank you guys, take care.